My family and I just moved to Miami, Florida, and my wife and I, we've got some big plans to upgrade our garage gym. So come along with me and I'll take you through the upgrades. Hey, this is Greg with Discovering Strength, the channel focused on fitness tips for the average guy or girl trying to get in shape through strength training. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing below. Okay, so it's been a while since I posted a video, and the reason being is we moved from here to here. So now we're in sunny South Florida, and we're definitely enjoying the 70 degree winter weather here, and we're turning our now garage gym into an awesome place to work out. Okay, so how about we go in? We'll take a look at what we have to work with here in our new garage. So as you can see, it's a tight space in here. It's a one stall uh, garage and we're trying to uh, plan it out and be really deliberate with the upgrades we make. But uh, first off, let's go around here and I'll just show you what we currently have. And then I'm gonna take you through the whole process as we get our new equipment in uh, and, and show you what we turn it into. And I'm also gonna mention that I did a previous video out in Korea where I walked you through our setup out there. And you can check out that video uh, at the link above. Okay, so our garage gym right now mainly consists of our squat rack, which I guess it's like a squat stand. Uh, on the rack, we've got our barbell We've also got the exercise ball that does come in pretty handy. Uh, we do quite a few different things with that. So you can also see down here that we've got an assortment of weight plates. We left Korea, but we had to bring a little piece of it with us. And so we have added the Korean flag in here alongside the American flag. Over this way, we've got two benches that we use. We've got our Concept 2 rower. Uh, then, looking over here at this side of the room, we've got our spin bike, we've got an assortment of bands, we've got a suspension trainer, then we've got our dumbbells over here. That's the gym as of right now. Um, next step is building it up. All right, so the delivery driver just came and dropped off our upgrades. So I'm gonna take you through what we purchased and uh, we'll go from there. So over here, um, we got a number of boxes, but we decided to go with Titan Fitness. Uh, we went with their T3 rack. And then we also went with the combo lat pull down plus the low row that goes inside the rack. And then in addition to that, I think this one over here is an additional cable machine. It's got the adjustable arm on it. So we've got a lot of work here to put this all together. Okay, so it took quite a while and not completely done, but I put together the T3 rack over here with the lap pulley on the back side. Um, still have to finish adding the cables to the lap pulley, um, but uh, it looks pretty nice. The one uh, issue I found while doing this was that our barbell, doesn't fit the T3 rack because it's too short. So, looks like we're getting a new, a new barbell. Okay, so a day later and I have now completed the lat pull down low row attachment. Um, looks great. Both Michelle and I are super excited to have it.
Okay, so I just finished assembly of the unit. I'm gonna go ahead and connect this to the rack. Okay, so I've put a lot of work into the garage gym over the last few weeks and it's ready. So let's go take a look. Okay, so we'll get started with the centerpiece of the gym, and that is the new squat rack. Uh, this is by Titan Fitness. See up there at the top. Um, this is the T3 rack, and this is the tall version with the 24 inch depth. So it's more compact than the other version they have, which you can get it in 36 inches and you can also get a shorter version. Um, but I have tall ceilings in here, so I went for that one. And so far it's been outstanding. Definitely a huge improvement over what we had in the garage gym before, which was just a squat stand. Um, but along with this, and the reason I went with the T3 rack was that I could get these cable attachments. And within the rack, there's a lap pull down low row and I did another video on that and you can check that one up here. Um, also, we have the additional cable machine over here and I did a video on that one and uh, I'll provide a link above so you can take a look at that. So as you can see, I ended up putting all of my plate storage on this side and the reason I did that was to accommodate the cable machine here on the other side. Uh, so that's how I configured it. Then in addition to that, I also bought Titan's uh, landmine attachment. That's right here. Honestly, so far I haven't used it much, but you know, I love having the landmine. Uh, it adds some versatility into what you can do. Okay, so another little thing, another little gadget I wanted to mention was, well, we're in South Florida and it's the winter time, but still the mosquitoes are pretty terrible. And I got this little thing, it's called Thermocell. I guess traditionally people use it for uh, camping and things like that for keeping the mosquitoes away. But this little thing is fantastic. That is the bulk of uh, what I've got here in the home gym. Now I'll go around and just mention some of the other things I've got in here. So, like you saw, I think in the earlier in the video, still got the flags up there. I ended up moving the dumbbells. I had them over here on the other side of the room. I moved them over here uh, to make a little bit more space for this uh, cable machine I've got. And so far that's working out pretty well. Um, I've got the same stuff I had before just for storage of different bands and things like that over here. Uh, I, I did add this pegboard and I'll provide a link to this one in the description below as well as links to the other things I mentioned. I'll, I'll find whatever I can and put it in the description. Um, just put this up but that was definitely one thing I wanted to add just to try to keep things tidy and get stuff up off the ground, get it on the wall so that we can really make the most of our limited space here. Working my way over this way, you can see I mounted the TV up there. Before we used to watch a lot of shows as we worked out, haven't really done that, but the configuration I've got set up right now is you can kind of see off to the side, I've got cables running down over here and uh, I've got an HDMI input so I can connect my phone into the TV. So when we bring up our programming, you know, it's nice. We can put it full screen up there on the TV. We've got that easy visual reference for when we're working out. Okay, so we've still got our Concept2 rower. Honestly, we don't use the rower that much. So we've even talked about maybe getting rid of it because it takes up quite a bit of our footprint here. But for now, that's the spot for it. 
I did add the barbell rack over here on the wall because we figured, hey, we're going all out with our garage gym, so we've got to be cool garage gym people and get the barbell rack. Our most recent addition is this uh, Rogue, let's see, it's the uh, Echo Bar, and we just added that one. We really like it. Then another addition, Michelle got this Rep Fitness Plyo Box. This is the Tw the 16 20 24 version and I really think it's the perfect size another thing Being here in South Florida. It's winter time, but it still gets warm here uh, And so we found out very quickly that we needed to be able to cool down the space as much as we could So I was planning to actually mount some uh, a fan up on the ceiling over there to get it up and out of the way but what we found was just using one of these existing floor fans that we had, if we just open our door that goes into the house and uh, put that fan on, it blows that air conditioned air into the garage and keeps it really nice and cool. Now, going to this other side of the room over here, now we've got all the mirrors that we added. Uh, and this is one thing that both Michelle and I really want to do. Um, one, it helps to make the, the small space feel larger with having mirrors. Uh, and honestly, we just like to see our form and like to, to see ourselves working out. You know, you get a lot of, it's kind of silly at least to me, but you get a lot of motivation just watching, uh, watching yourself put the work in. Okay, then back over this way, we've still got the same, two benches that I had before, haven't made any changes there, uh, and the same spin bike. When it comes to cardio, most of the cardio I do is on this spin bike. Um, I really like it, it's really mindless cardio, uh, that's the way I think of it. Um, and my focus is definitely not cardio, but that, that does a job for me. Okay, so that is pretty much it, that is the setup. Um, I'd like to say that we're done. You know, this is the finished product, but I think like most home gym owners, garage gym owners, you know, you just get into it and you're always looking at adding something or modifying something. So I'm sure we'll be doing that over time. But for now, this is what we've got. Uh, we love it. Uh, we're definitely excited to put a lot of time in here. So let's get to work. concludes the garage gym transformation. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what you think and we'll see you next time.